Hello everybody, it is Brady and Left to Cry, Hello. and this is Things to Do in Minecraft. Open many doors. Is that really what we decided to call it? Apparently, yeah. So, um, it's basically just a little game I made up. You have this seemingly, uh, normal house. Pretty shitty house, by the way. No, it's a good house, dude. Don't talk shit about my houses. But as you can see, when you go in, there's one door. And then immediately there's two doors. And if I go through another one, there's three doors. Okay? So, what the game is, there's, uh an increasing number of doors every time, but the thing is, there's only one safe door. So if you go through any door but the safe door, you die. Oh, so you have numbers, to... man, numbers, fuck. Yeah, man, fucking numbers. So the game is you have to correctly choose the correct door each time, and if you don't pick the right one every single time, you have to start over, and that's the game. Yeah, I was your guinea pig for this, because obviously you knew your way around, but I didn't, so... Yeah. <laughs> I would get to, like, the ninth door, and I think it was, like, ten or eleven in total, and, like... Mm -hmm. And I, then you gotta start over. Yeah, fuck that. And then, and then, like, you forget on the third one, yeah. you forget on the different numbers. So it, uh, it takes a while. It seems like it would be really easy, but it actually, um... It took you quite a while to figure out, so much to the point where we were in a hurry, as we usually are, and I had to kind of help you out, you know? Yeah, you're like, this one's the door. I was like, yes! <laughs> I knew it! Pretty funny. Yeah. But, I mean, ideally, uh, this would be fun to play with a big number of people. But you were my guinea pig, just testing it out, as you usually are. Pretty much. And, like, yeah, yeah like you were saying, it'll be better with more people. And with that being said, it'll be more of a clusterfuck, which would probably end up me burning your whole world to the ground. Well, speaking of burning my whole world to the ground, do you want to fucking give me shit for this? Cause I'm oh, gonna go yes, I do. You fucking jeffed it. You fuck If anyone doesn't know what jeffing it means, it's basically burning or destroying your whole world to the ground with autosaved enabled. <laughs> Did you fucking, like, invent that term, like, right now? Yeah, pretty much. Like, okay. as soon well, as you told me, like, oh, fuck, autosaves, I'm like, oh my god, you fucking jeffed it. Well, see, that's what I hate about autosave, because when it's enabled, you can't disable it without fucking, um, without, without saving, you know? Yeah, for some reason, that feature is really stupid. Like, it is really stupid. I hate how every single time I want to save my motherfucking game, it says, do you want to enable autosave? You know, after after saying no 50 fucking million times, I feel like they would pick up the idea that, huh, maybe this guy doesn't want to enable autosave. Yeah, come, you know? come on, Minecraft, get your shit together. Yeah, thanks a lot, Microsoft. But I mean, <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't all bad, though, because after I burned this world down, it turns out I didn't have fire spreading enabled. And I went back in, and I fixed it. Everything was all fine. Yeah, but you were the dumbass that decided to pour lava everywhere. Sorry. Deal or no deal was my shit. I was able to do that, because you fucked yeah. with me. You know, I don't always think about the consequences of my actions before I do them. We never do. Let's be honest. I never do. I mean, you know. Yeah. But anyway, here's the final door. This is kind of what it looks like uh, when someone wins. You get this little victory chamber, and you're still fucking locked in. Yeah, pretty much. Bitch. But anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and be sure to check back at AchievementHunter.com for more.